Later today, we get the release of the Fed minutes. Clearly, there has been a lot of sensitivity around Fed policy in 2022. And in recent weeks, calls for a Fed pivot have ramped up dramatically, especially as U.S. equities tumble and the U.S. dollar extends its across-the-board run. The disconnect between Fed policy and monetary policy at other major central banks has become even more striking in recent months, only adding to more pressure on the financial system. Having said this, we don't expect to see any major surprises from the minutes later today and believe any hopes that there will be signs of a Fed pivot will be hopes that are let down. The two primary reasons for this view are one, the Fed communications in the days leading up to today's event risk have been consistently hawkish with Fed officials very clear in their higher for longer message. And two, that we get today's Fed minutes event risk ahead of tomorrow's CPI release, which will leave the market waiting for more clarity from CPI data before wanting to make any fresh decisions on market direction. Ultimately, the Fed has made it clear that it is more concerned about the risks associated with rising inflation and has been very committed to making sure this remains its priority despite shorter term risks to growth. For anything to change on this front, we would need to see clear signs of inflation coming back down, signs of softness in the labor market, or signs of companies struggling to get funding. At the moment, none of these signs have manifest, which leads us to believe the minutes will continue to communicate the hawkish message we've been hearing in 2022. At best, we think investors might find some comfort from a sell-the-fact reaction on the minutes being as expected, but we have a hard time seeing any signs of a pivot popping up in today's minutes. This leaves the balance of risk favoring a strategy that promotes selling stocks into rallies and buying the U.S. dollar into dips. That's all for now.